What's up, blog tried. In this video, we are gonna talk about going from Google Docs into WordPress. More specifically, I'm gonna be trying out a tool for the very first time, I've never touched it before making this video, Wordable.io. Supposedly, this is a one-click export from Google Docs into WordPress, and it has a nice dashboard, it's a plugin, it's supposed to work really well, we're gonna give it a shot. So let's do this thing. Here is a test blog post in a Google Doc that I am gonna be importing via Wordable. I have some H2s throughout. I have some H3s. As you can see, I've also just dropped in some images. These are actually quite large, as well as some GIFs or GIFs, just to see if Wordable can, you know, pull all this through and maintain proper formatting and stuff like that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to Wordable and download the plugin, install it, and activate it on our website. Obviously, we will be activating the WordPress plugin and then connecting it to our Wordable account. As you can see, it even said it activated next connect Wordable in your settings. Uh, I'm assuming that's gonna go to settings, Wordable, connect Wordable. And just like that, I literally didn't click anything else. I was already logged in to my Wordable.io account. That probably has to happen first, but now we are connected and it created a Google Drive folder just for this site. Again, this is a test site, podcourse.com. And there is my folder, it should be empty. I'm gonna go back and do the same thing with my main blog, do even blog.com, activate plugin, connect Wordable, and I'm hoping it's another one click connection here. And I just clicked the connect button for that. It should be noted that it names the Google Drive folders Wordable dash whatever whatever so this is going to be wordable dash do you even blog this one's wordable dash podcourse.com and i believe we will have to move our blog post draft in here in order to transfer it to wordpress actually there is a search thing in here so i'm actually going to search wordable test that is the name of my google doc and i'm just going to see if it pops up in here it does look at that so I found it, I'm just gonna hit export and we're gonna see how it comes over. You'll choose your author, which is uh, me. I have some other people who contribute. Export as post, you can choose export status. I'm just gonna do draft. You could also do, if you have custom templates or pages or posts, you can choose all those things right there. Select a category, that's actually pretty cool. I'll select uh, a few categories here. And it's kind of a weird interface here, but that looks like uh, it worked well. Classic, ultimate, I don't know what these things are, so I'm just gonna choose classic. Maybe we'll come back and try the ultimate in a second. And then I'm going to click export. Now, it's worth noting that I am gonna be doing this on a WordPress Gutenberg website, and I'm gonna be doing it on a classic WordPress editor. Do you even blog? I use Gutenberg and have since it came out, but I know a lot of people use classic, and I wanna give that a test run too, so I'm gonna do that on this other site here. Okay, that literally took about 30 seconds and then it says it's published as draft. It gave like a little loading icon that actually worked uh, pretty easily <laughs> in my opinion. So I'm gonna go to my other site for the classic editor. I'm gonna say, don't show this again. Search wordable, uh oh, I don't know what happened there. Wordable test, see if I can just search for it. You can also just move your drafts in that folder and they should just appear there. But I, I don't wanna have to bother moving WordPress docs from my normal folder. I suppose you could create new ones in those folders, but I don't actually care about doing that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to Wordable, search for it, click export. Again, you'll have to do all these things, draft, categories. I'm just gonna do classic again. Categories, I don't think I have any. So I'm just gonna click export. It'll take 30 to 40 seconds, I believe. And we'll see what it looks like. While it's exporting, let's see what the Gutenberg editor version looks like. I'm gonna go over here to post in my WordPress dashboard, and here it is, Wordable test. Uh, this is looking good, it brought in the categories, it's got my author, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go and just check out the formatting in the editor first, and I can actually already see that W, uh, excuse me, Short Pixel is already optimizing some of the images in that post, I can see it right there. Okay, this did import in a classic block, which is actually not what I would want personally, but looking through this, I will say that the formatting absolutely carried through. This is a heading two, this looks good. The spacing looks great. The images came through just fine. The GIFs did not come through at all, now that I'm looking about it. Okay, this GIF actually did come through, but the other one did not. I don't know where that one went, no idea. 
It's also worth noting that there's going to be some of these. This is where that GIF was. And there's also some weird spacing issues that I would have to come in and correct. Honestly, I'm not going to blame Wordable for this. I blame Google Docs for this because I will find that the paragraph spacing changes itself <laughs> half the time when I'm editing in a Google Doc. So again, I'll have to delete this H1 here. And this is a classic block. I'm going to actually inspect the HTML. This looks pretty clean right here. Like there's no funky Google Docs HTML, which can happen sometimes. It used to happen back in the day when you just copied and pasted from a Google Doc. This actually looks pretty great right here. One last thing I want to try is, well, first of all, I'm going to preview it and just see what that looks like. I'm actually going to convert this to blocks here in just a second. So I'm going to take the classic block and just convert it to a bunch of little blocks because that's how I prefer to edit in Gutenberg. Looks like everything looks pretty good right here. Again, I'm going to delete that H1. It did bring my Google Doc title as the title right there. So I'll just delete that. And this should actually be a paragraph. There we go. And let's go with preview in new tab. While it's doing that, let's actually just make sure that this came through on my other site that I'm going to be using the classic editor for, it did come through right there. It is optimizing some images, so I can see that at least some of that was brought through. Here is the classic editor. Again, I'll probably have to delete that H1 that it brought in, but all the formatting looks great. That GIF made it. Images look good. That was a huge image in general. That was also another huge image in general. It's also in the middle of a sentence, which is odd. That other GIF still did not come through. I don't know what's happening there. And if I go and look at the HTML editor, this looks pretty clean. Yep, it looks good to me. I don't know exactly what happened to that other GIF. It did not pull through. You can see it's actually just empty right there, which is very interesting. Let me look at preview, see what this looks like. Okay, that looks good. That looks fine. That was a human image anyways, excuse me. It's just that one GIF, really. There's H2s coming through. That came through. Again, the GIF <clears throat> did not come through there. Links look good. All right, so that actually worked. It's clean. I don't know what happened to that other GIF, but it didn't come through. By the way, both of these were actually just a dot .gif format. There was no funky things I did. Uh, they were both just downloaded in the same, they're, the, they're both GIFs. <laughs> There's nothing funky going on there that I can see. I don't really know why that one didn't come through. So here we are previewing the Gutenberg version. And it actually, it looks great. That came through the right size. This one was huge. That comes through the right size. Everything looks good. The formatting's there. The emojis came through. This came through. Let me check the links down here at the bottom. There's that other huge image. That other GIF, again, did not come through again. It's supposed to be right there. Links worked. Everything looks great, except for that one GIF, and I have no idea what happened there. Now, I want to do one more test, and I'm going to take the same exact post and I'm just going to copy and paste it and see what happens and see the difference. So this is going to be a test post in classic. And I'm also going to do this in Gutenberg. I'm going to add a new post. I'm going to come over here and copy. I'm going to like literally command a control a select all command C to copy. Then I'm going to come back over here and just paste it in. I won't do a title, I'll put a title as test right there. I'm going to just hit paste. I'm not pasting as values. I just hit the normal paste button in Gutenberg and the link came through. This looks like an H2 came through. That GIF came through. Uh, this image came through. This image came through. This GIF came through. Everything looks great here. And just really quick, I want to double check the post and make sure I can code editor. There we go. I just want to check the code to make sure there's no Google Doc HTML in there. This is all WordPress stuff. This looks good. This is nice and clean. Uh, this did come through as like a Google image URL. I don't even know if that's avoidable, to be honest with you. Um, but that looks good. Images came through. They're just funky Google image URLs. I don't think that really matters. You can edit the alt text and all that stuff in WordPress. That actually looks really clean. So let's save this draft and preview it just to make sure it works. Let me do the same thing in Classic. Come over here in Classic, hit Paste. There we go. Everything came through. It looks like most of the formatting is there. There's some bold, there's some H2s. The GIF didn't come through. The images didn't come through. That GIF didn't come through. The link did come through as well as, let's just paste at the bottom. Let's look at this HTML. Okay, this is what we don't want. So if you're using the classic editor, 
I don't recommend copying and pasting from Google Docs because now you're going to go and delete all this stuff. Also, it's going to look a little funky. And there are ways to do this, uh, which maybe I'll cover in another video. But in general, this is terrible. And so if I go to preview, let's actually save the draft and then preview it. Do the same thing over here. Preview. Preview in a new tab. This is the Gutenberg version. This is the classic version. Preview. No images came through. There's funky HTML in there from Google Docs in the classic editor version. But over here in the Gutenberg version, I'm guessing we're going to be just fine. Yep, we're just fine. There's no funky code. All the images came through. Formatting looks great. Image came through. This GIF actually came through when I just copied and pasted it, although it didn't do it from Wordable. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. So final recommendation, if you use the classic editor in WordPress, you're probably going to want to check out something like Wordable. It did come through much cleaner than just copying and pasting. Uh, it didn't take a whole lot of time at all. Again, you just go to your dashboard, you search for the post, you click export, and then the 30 seconds later, it's in there and it's like donezo. But if you are using the Gutenberg editor in WordPress, I don't actually know if you need it. I think you can probably just get away with copying and pasting. That's all I got, Blog Tribe. Like, comment, subscribe. I would love to hear from you to comment. Help me out with these YouTube algorithms. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks for content production that we should be aware of. Drop me a comment below this video. I love you guys. Adios.